Hello friends, welcome to GT Science Tutorial. In this video, I am going to explain about the radius ratio rule. This rule helps us to predict the coordination number and geometry of any ionic crystal. And this rule is very important for your examination as well. So in this video, we will understand everything about the radius ratio rule. So let's start. To understand about radius ratio rule, let us take an ionic compound M plus X minus, where this M plus is the cation, cation having positive charge, this is anion, that is X has negative charge, right? And we know that the size of cation, the size of cation is always less than the size of anion. There is a reason for that to form cation m has to lose one electron and as a result of that the force of attraction between the electrons in the nucleus will increase and the size decreases but to form anion x has to gain one electron and when it gets one electron then there will be a strong force of repulsion between electron cloud and as a result of that the size of the anion increases so you can see over here the size of cation is always less than the size of anion now their size actually helps us to predict the coordination number now look at here let's uh, take an example okay suppose we have a cation over here this cation will be stable if it is surrounded by the a positively charged ion that means negative ion so it will likely to get surrounded by a negatively charged ion like this and similarly the negative ion that is x minus will likely to get surrounded by positive ion negative ion is bigger positive ion is smaller right like this it will likely to get surrounded by positive ion like this now can you tell me what will be the coordination of this coordination number of this cation in this case yes you are correct coordination number is the number of ions that is surrounding the a positively charged ion here the coordination number of this cation is 3 because this cation has 3 anions around it similarly the coordination number of this anion over here of this anion over here is how much 1 2 3 4 5 there are three, 5 cations surrounding this anion so the coordination number for this particular case is 5 so let me write it over here the definition of coordination number coordination number coordination number is defined as coordination number is defined as the number the number of ions the number of ions the number of ions surrounding surrounding an a positively charged ion a positively a positively charged ion so this is the definition of coordination number and in this case the coordination number of this cation is 3 and the coordination number of this anion in this particular case is 5 so i hope you understood this concept let me erase this now let's understand the radius ratio radius ratio concept for that we need to study the stability of different cation so now let's take an example in which the coordination number of the cation is 3 we are taking an example where the coordination number of the cation let me represent this cation by plus is 3 so there are three different possibilities uh, let me draw the figure of each of them okay let me draw the figure of each of them so it will be easier for us to understand everything about this minus 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 similarly if the size of cation increases we'll get a figure like this minus 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 and finally a figure like this so do you see anything different in these three figures this is figure number a figure a this is figure b and this is figure c do you see anything different yeah look at here the size of anions are same in all of them but the size of cation is changing here the size of cation is so small that it is not even touching any anion here the size of cation is 
equal to like it's so big that it is touching all the anions and here the size of cation is so 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 big that uh, the anions are not touching each other which one of them is stable highly stable and the unstable look at here in this particular case the cation is touching all the anions and the anions are also touching each other so this is the stable form this is the stable form the compound will likely to get attain this type of form but in this case uh, you can see over here the cation is so big that it is touching all the anions but the anions are not touching each other and that is a good thing because there won't be any force of repulsion between these anions and this is highly stable this is highly stable but in this particular case you can see over here the cation is so small that it is not touching any anion and this is unstable form this is unstable form because the cation is in the void this region the region inside or the region within these anions is called void okay this uh, cation is in the void of the anion but it is not touching any of them so this possibility is there is no possibility like this so this is unstable form so this is the stable form this is unstable form and this is the highly stable form you can see over here it will always likely to get highly stable now what if we keep increasing the cation size there are reason this is gap this gap this gap now if we keep increasing the size of cation the gap will be so big that one more anion can come and fit over here Similarly, if we keep increasing the size of cation, then more and more anions will come and they will fit in this gap. Now, if they fit in this gap, then what will happen? The coordination number will increase, right? The coordination number will keep on increasing. And if the coordination number increases, then the geometry of the compound will change according to that, right? Now, let's understand about the radius ratio. I hope you understood this part. Now, the radius ratio part is actually very important for your examination as well. So, for that, let me erase this portion. For the radius ratio rule, certain assumptions were made. Those assumptions were the ions, the ions, either they are cation, cation, or anion, anion are perfect sphere, perfect sphere. So we are considering them as the perfect sphere so that we can calculate the radius of those ions cation and anion in two number there is no there is no interaction there is no interaction between between the ions that is there is no polarization no polarization Because if there is polarization, then the ionic character will be lost slowly, right? So, they consider there is no interaction of ion. Similarly, the third one is there is no, there is no effect of, effect of lattice energy, lattice energy. So, these were some of the consideration that were made to give the radius ratio rule. Now, radius ratio rule says that, radius ratio is the radius sorry is the ratio is the ratio of radius of cation cation to the radius of anion anion so this is the radius ratio so radius ratio is defined as rr this small r is for the cation and this capital r is for the anion and it is given by the formula r plus by r minus so it is simply the ratio of the radius of cation to the radius of anion okay radius of cation to the radius of anion that's why i talked about the size of cation and anion okay so here if the value of r plus increases r plus means radius of cation then the value of radius ratio will increase similarly if the value of r minus increases then the value of radius ratio decreases this is the special form that you need to understand that means if the radius ratio value increases then the coordination number also increases that is if the radius ratio increases the coordination number will increase and if the radius ratio decreases the coordination number will 
decrease as well that means they are vice versa now look at here suppose we have a cation over here and it is surrounded by an ion it is surrounded by an ion can you tell me what is the coordination of coordination number of this compound yes you are correct the coordination number of this compound is 4 now radius ratio simply means suppose if we increase the size of cation then what will happen the gap will increase there will be a significant gap and if we keep increasing the size of cation then the gap will be so big that one more anion will fit over here and as a result of that the coordination number will be 5 similarly it will be 6 and 8 and so on similarly if the size of anion cation decreases if we keep the size of anion constant and if the uh, size of cation decreases then the coordination number will also decrease because it will decrease and as a result of that it will have to throw one of the anion to be stable right to be stable that's why remember that unstable case we consider like this right three different three big anions were there like this uh, three big anions were like this now it is not touching any of them so the only possibility is it has to lose one of the anion and as a result of that it will convert into a linear form into in linear form this is the compound having coordination number two as you can see over here as the size of cation is decreasing the coordination number is also decreasing so the size of this cation and anion can give us the information about coordination number but like right now we just considered this example arbitrarily but is there a fixed value for something yes there is a fixed there are fixed values uh, there are actually set of values that can help us to get the coordination number that means if the uh, radius ratio value is more than 0 0.155 then it will have coordination number 3 that means for coordination number 3 the radius ratio value must be at least 0 0.155 if the radius ratio value is less than this then it can't have the coordination number 2 it will have only coordination number 2 okay so for uh, coordination number 3 the uh, minimum radius ratio value should be this much this value is called the limiting radius ratio limiting radius ratio value Similarly, if we keep increasing the size of this radius ratio, then the gap will keep increasing, increasing, increasing and there will be a point after that, it will be able to get one more anion. Now that value will be something somewhere over here. That is the limiting radius ratio value of coordination number 4. So there will be a range of value. It is not a specific value. There will, there will be a range of values within which the uh, cation will have coordination number 3 right now we are talking about radius ratio but what is the radius ratio rule now we know that we can know the value of coordination number of any cation or anion by using the radius ratio value now uh, coordination number value can give us the information about the structure or geometry of that compound so the rule so the rule the rule that is that is used that is used to predict predict the coordination number and geometry coordination number and geometry of of an ionic compound of an ionic compound by using by using the radius ratio value is called is called radius radius ratio rule so the rule which uses the radius ratio value the rule which uses the ratio, radius ratio value to predict the coordination number and geometry of an ionic compound is called the radius ratio rule now let's come back to the topic uh, we're talking about the values right values of radius ratio actually there is a chart uh, I'll make the chart over here and explain you how the vari variation of charge, uh, chart, sorry, variation of values of the radius ratio will help us to get the information about the coordination number and the geometry. For that, let me erase this portion and make a chart over here. So, I made a chart over here. Let's fill this chart now, okay? If the radius ratio value is less than 0 0.155, 
if the value of radius ratio is less than uh, uh, less than this value less than 0 0.155 then the coordination number will be 2 and the structure or geometry will be linear structure linear structure linear structure linear structure is like this cation will be over here and ion will be over here and another here it will be in linear shape similarly if the coordination number uh, sorry if the radius ratio value is between 0 0.155 to 0 0.225 if the value is between this much then the coordination number will be 3 and the structure will be triangular planar triangular planar triangular planar is like this there will be a positive charge over here a negative charge a negative charge and a negative charge like this and these three will touch each other this is triangular planar form similarly if the radius ratio is between 0 0.225 to 0 0.414 0 0.414 then the coordination number will be equal to 4 and the structure will be tetrahedral 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 is the structure like this there will be positive charge there will be negative charge another negative charge another negative charge and finally another negative charge they all will be connected to each other like this so that is the tetrahedral shape similarly if the radius ratio is between 0 0.414 to 0 0.732 then the coordination number will uh, remain same but its structure will be square planar square planar all the four ions will be on the same plane it will be like this there will be this positive ion negative ion negative ion negative ion negative ion and they all will be in the same plane that's why we call it square planar structure similarly for the same radius ratio value for the same radius value radius ratio value one more structure is possible that is coordination number six and the structure is octahedral octahedral the coordination number value will be same but one more structure is possible the structure of octahedral case is there will be plus minus 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 and uh, these all will be bonded to each other and there will be one more minus one more minus they all they will also be bonded to each other so if we increase the radius ratio value from 732 to 0 0.999 the coordination number value will be equal to uh, 8 and the structure will be bcc bcc means body center cube we can see the structure of body center cube on the screen so this is the chart of radius ratio value along with coordination number and geometry i hope you understood this part easily now an important question arises that is can we rely on this radius ratio rule the answer is no we can't rely on this radius ratio rule because for the stability of uh, the, for the stability of this ionic compound there is one more factor that plays an important role that is lattice energy so the lattice energy is the main factor for the stability of this uh, ionic compound but in radius ratio rule we don't take the consideration of lattice energy and similarly there is no polarization so we can rely on this theory but we can make the prediction we can make the prediction of how many uh, how many anions are being surrounded on one cation that is we can predict the coordination number and the geometry by using this radius ratio rule so we cannot rely on it but we can get the rough data of the structure and coordination number from this radius ratio rule so that's all in this video i hope you understood everything about this video if you like the video please share this video as much as you can thank you for watching the video